So Thomas, can you explain what Aston Bay is exploring in Nunavut? Well, we're looking for copper and zinc uh, on our 100% uh, owned Aston Bay property. Uh, it is a, uh, over a million acres of uh, prospective ground. We have drill, high grade, drill proven, both copper and zinc intercepts at the surface. And we're looking for really the exploration potential, what may be hidden at depth on this large claim block. Right, so give us some uh, historical background of the area that your um, flagship project is at. Sure, well, we're located just south of the uh, past producing Polaris lead zinc mine. That, that mine produced for over 20 years, produced uh, over 15 billion, well, they extracted over 15 billion dollars in value of ore from, from that mine when they closed down in, in 2004. You know, we're located just 200 kilometers south of Polaris on the same mineralized uh, trend, and uh, you know, it, it just it speaks to the uh, the potential that we have, mm -hmm. uh, you know, hidden at depth uh, on our claims. The drilling was conducted in the uh, late 90s by Cominco. Um, some really fantastic intercepts on the copper side, 110 meters of two and a half percent copper from the surface. Mm -hmm. uh, on the zinc side, uh, you know, multiple tens of meters of you know 10 to 20 percent uh, zinc grades, and uh, we'll be having a, a 43101 resource uh, coming out on the zinc project uh, in the next month or so. Right. Now with you know zinc mineralization and high-grade mm -hmm. copper confirmed, what's your strategy? Uh, well, really the strategy is to uh, you know, look at the, the surface showings and the deposits that we have at the surface and really explore, well, what does this tell us about the system? Where might larger, uh, other, uh, other larger deposits be hidden at depth? And uh, what we need to do is really figure out a way to look in the subsurface mm -hmm. to see where these things might be hidden. And the best way to do that is with geophysics to get some really high quality drill targets that we can then follow up with drilling next summer right. to uh, hopefully make a big discovery. Right. Now let's talk about your lead geologist, David Broughton. What does he bring to your team? Well, David's a proven mine finder. He is uh, the former chief geologist for Ivanhoe Mines. Uh, co-discoverer of both Flat Reef and Kamoa Kakula in the Congo. These are world-class copper mines, billion-ton deposits. Um, he was attracted to, uh, to Aston Bay and to, the, uh, to our land package because it, he feels it has the same potential to, to contain a, uh, a world-class deposit on both the copper right. uh, and zinc side. Great. Now let's also talk about the financial standing of Aston sure. Bay and also the uh, share structure. Sure. Well, we have, a, uh, we have about a million dollars cash, no debt. Uh, 75 million shares outstanding, about 8 million warrants, and uh, we are uh, at the moment looking to uh, potentially raise some funds for our drill program mm -hmm. next summer. Well, you know, let's talk about the news flow. What should investors mm -hmm. expect to see from Aston Bay over the next few months? Well, uh, in the near term, in the next week or two, we expect to have our 43101 initial resource on the seal zinc uh, deposit coming out. and. We expect some good numbers from that, and we think uh, it's really going to give uh, investors uh, an idea of the potential that we have here. We think we have a Polaris, uh, Polaris grade mineralization, and we're really just looking for something bigger on our claims. In addition to that, this past summer we flew a $2 million uh, geophysical gravity survey, uh, and the, the motivation behind that was, uh, was driven by David Broughton to find uh, to get a feel for what's happening in the subsurface, get, a, get us those uh, drill targets for both copper and zinc so that we can have some high quality targets to drill next summer. Great, well thank you so much for your insights, Tom. Great, thank you.